Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn to um, work with templates, which is something like this. And this is what it looked like before I made it or customized it or whatever you want to call it. And this is what I turned it into. So I'm going to show you how to turn that into this. Um, the first thing you want to do is of course get a template um, this one I got from Sarah simple creations dot .com. so you can go ahead and get it there I'll I'll put the the URL in the info the more info thingy up there in YouTube so the first thing you want to do is of course get a template next thing you want to do is uh, get a scrap kit so I'm going to be using a pay to use scrap kit called all about the boys I do not remember where I got this at where I bought it at um, it didn't seem to say here either so whatever so you want to go ahead and open up a paper from your scrap kit. Let me see. I'm going to use this blue starburst one. Okay, so once you open your paper, go ahead to your template and you're going to use the magic wand tool. And let's first work with the background. As you can see, um, all templates should come in a PSP image file extension, which means that all the layers are not merged so your layers should look something like this so the first thing you want to do is click on the first layer we're going to work with which would be this rectangle and then you want to use the magic wand tool to select it so once you have your magic um, I mean your marching ants around it go ahead and copy your paper actually you know what no I mean you can do it this way but I think the other way would be better you can just copy and paste into selection, but it's not really going to look too cool. See, it's going to look kind of stretched out. If you like it like that, that's fine. I am a little bit picky, so I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to use my flood fill tool instead. So go up to your materials palette and click on your pattern. And find your paper. Now in most cases in a scrap kit, your paper will be like... I think it's um, 1,200 by 1,200 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it down to 25. And then I'm going to flood fill my rectangle. And as you can see, this wasn't really a good choice for this. so. I'm just going to paste into it. It's just because of the paper that I used. But you get the idea. Okay, once you have that done, you can go to selection, select none, and then move on to the next part, which would be the big circle. Or, you know, whatever area you're working with. So once you have your marching answer on your circle, you can choose another paper from your kit. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I think I actually know this one. Get rid of this one. And you can copy and paste into it or you can use a flood fill tool, whatever works for you. Let's see, paste into selection. And there we go. And there you have it. So then next we want to go ahead and work the frame background. This is where your picture would go. So if you have a picture, let me see. <laughs> you can just paste into selection. As you can see, my picture is more rectangle. So what I'm going to do is use my selection tool, set it to square. 
I'm gonna pick out a square. So, pick out a square out of my picture. Copy. And paste into selection. You see the difference? It helps out a lot to just use the selection tool to pick out a square. Okay, so once you have your picture in there next, you want to work on the frame. Let's see. Go back to your magic wand. You can select your frame and you can use a paper from, from the same scrap kit or you can just choose a color from the scrap kit. I'm going to go ahead and just use this paper. These things are so big that it makes my PSP like really slow. And just for color. Okay. Then you want to go ahead and move on to the ribbon. And add something there. So I'm going to use this blue here. It's really all about the papers. <laughs> So, once you have all this done, you see it's pretty easy. It's just like click and then, you know, copy, paste into selection and you're pretty much done. Mine doesn't look all that because I didn't really get into it, but <laughs> you get the idea. Next, you can put a little tag or whatever you want. You can add elements to, to it. Like if I wanted to put a star, you want to do a scale it down. Copy. Paste as new layer. Oh. It's still too big. Then maybe add some glitter on there. You can pretty much use your imagination for everything from here on out. We have some glitter over here to the side. Maybe we can duplicate. Add some glitter to the other side. And you can do whatever you want. So yeah. And there you go. And then here you can do something with this little circle. Like um, you can add another paper to it. Like maybe this, this blue. Like a plain color. So that you can write something there, like a little message. And of course you can always, you can use the paste into selection or you can just flood fill, whatever works for you. But that's basically how it's done. See? Now you can just go ahead and add your text. that's it save it make sure you merge merge all the layers or you, what you can do is copy merged uh, see I don't know why when I work with scrap kits my my PSP just gets really slow which is really weird but yeah okay I don't even know where the name is. This weird thing. Okay. I know it's pink, but whatever. <laughs> you just, you know, put your tags and do whatever else you want. When you're done, just the best thing to do is um, copy merged, which I can't do right now. I don't know why. My PSP is bugging out. 
So just copy merge, then paste the new image. And you should be good to go. You can just save it and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I know this tutorial is probably a little bit confusing, but um, yeah, templates are kind of confusing if you ask me a little bit. I mean, it, it was pretty fast, but whatever. <laughs> um, have a good one. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask me. I will try to help you as best as I possibly can. Bye.